The Advanced Mentorship Program, or AMP, caters for learners in any creative field. They are matched up with a leader in their field, whether it's a famous actor, an orchestra or violinist, or a New York-based jazz singer. This year, our 22 AMP learners vary from performers to fine artists, dancers, writers, music producers, an electric card designer, and an inspiring television presenter. My name is Elami Tongo Lisakanya Maiki. I am a grade 11 in Kiro Century City. Television presenting is my jam. And my dream mentor is the inspiring and amazing Miss Tracy Lang. Hi, Tracy. Hello, we love. This is so weird because I'm sitting on the chair that you're supposed to be sitting on. Isn't it weird to you as well? It is a little bit weird and a little bit scary. And you know a lot about me, so you better be nice to me. Yes, I really want to speak about you as well. Because you're like you're one of the busiest people that I know. You do radio, television presenting. You do um, voiceovers. You even have a movie. You like, <laughs> you there. So tell me something. Do you have any favorite jobs? Every job is my favorite once I'm sitting in the job at that moment. Mm. Like this is possibly my, my most favorite moment at this point in time because this is what I'm doing right now. But radio, I've got a great soft spot for radio. Mm. <laughs> when did you get into the industry? How old were you? I actually got into the industry, a lot of people will say I was a little bit older, yes. but I was 23 and I did radio for fun on weekends. I had a full-time job and I decided to just help out at our community radio station in Somerset West for free of charge because my mom said to me, if you're willing to do it for free for a very long time, mm. you know you found your passion. Mm. And it was while being on air there that uh, another presenter heard me from a commercial radio station and invited me to record my demo. And you... that was 17 years ago. I'm 17. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know since like, probably really? when you were born. Yes. <sighs> That's so cool. Do you think, like, do you, do you really think that that was the best time for you to be on radio? Like, absolutely. I learned so much. And up until today, I still think being that age and being ready for it. And I just felt so much better and probably way more confident. It was the best time to do it. And you taught me so much about how to work in the industry. Please now teach me how to survive in it. Because I know you've been surviving. It's been 17 years. Do you have any obstacles that you faced then? Of course, there have always been obstacles that, that I have to face and I don't think they'll stop anytime soon. And trust me, if I had to start listing them, we'll be here for quite some mm. time. But uh, when it comes to survival, it has to do with constantly creating new opportunities for yourself. You can't wait for others to do that. And what's amazing for you as young people, and, mm. and which a lot of us as older people still have to get used to, is the fact that you have social media. You grow up in a digital era where you can actually create your own opportunities online. And I know you do that through your own podcast that you have. Already you are doing that. Once you know that social media is this incredible marketing tool and you know mm. how to use it well, you know that the world is your oyster and you already know that. And once you've got that, trust me, your survival instincts have kicked in already. So you're halfway there. And Cure Create is also an amazing. It is an amazing. Absolutely. I am, here, I am here because of it. So tell me, what do you think about the AMP program? I think it's one of the best programs that mm. I yet to come across. I love the idea of the opportunities that it's giving young people like you and also yeah. to open your minds and broaden your horizons just so you can know that actually sometimes getting into these industries are easier than you think it is if you meet the right people and that the only way people can know what you want to achieve one day is by knowing about your dreams and once you put up your hand and go I'd like to and people know about it things start happening. And I think that's what this program allows. Yeah, because I feel like I also met the right people. I, I met the right person who taught me much about presenting that I didn't necessarily know. I really thought presenting was like, you just speak. <laughs> <laughs> it is. No, I remember it that. Is. I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. But then it's like also finding your voice and like embracing your voice. That was quite difficult for me because it's like, okay, I know I have a great voice, but... Okay, presenting, you guys all sound the same, but when I met you, you sound different. So what do you think about embracing change? Change is the most important mm. thing. I think once you know that actually you need to move with the times, you need to open yourself up to things changing all the time, 
and being willing to accept that. I think if I go back to just the point that I made earlier of social media mm. and people my age and sometimes older, just not ready to embrace it. They're just going, but why should I? And you go, but you need to move with the times. That's just what it is, especially if you're in this industry and in every other industry as well. You need to kind of go, okay, that's what's happening. Let's embrace it. Let's move along mm. and let's see what I can learn. And that is why I love working with young people. Young people often teach me new things. And sometimes I have to go, just you use my phone and just tell me how to do it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm open to that. And I like that. I really do like it. Yes. Oh, speak about teaching you young things. Do you think that I've taught you anything? And if you, if I did, what is it? And what do you think I can, I can, okay. What do you think I should do to become like a better presenter? Well, let's start with what you taught me. Yes. You taught me already that as young as you are, you are incredibly confident and you've already made up your mind that you want to tackle not just necessarily the nice light issues, but that you are already incredibly aware of what's happening out in the world and being very aware of the serious things. And you've taught me that already at a young age, it's important to speak about those things mm. and be clear on the things that's that you want important to, speak to you. Mm. And you told me that from the start. And that's why I said to you, it's interesting that when I speak to you and you, you touch on serious things, there's a bit of a change. It's like you go, this is where I want to be. And it's amazing to see that at a, at a young age. It is, it's very heartwarming. Um, I think that, well, that's the one point in terms of what you taught me along with quite a few other different things. When it comes to presenting itself, and this is a conversation we had had, and it's something a lot of people don't realize, but reading out loud is important. <laughs> it is something I said to you, it was like a lump. What I <laughs> meant. <laughs> Read out loud. That's not just for you, it's for anyone who's interested in this industry. To read out loud anything and everything, every single day for at least 10 minutes. It makes a huge difference. Often you find that people speak really well and the moment they start reading, it kind of goes missing. That is often needed when it comes to presenting. Wow. So, that's so much. <laughs> There's a lot. There's, There's a, lot. a lot. But I learned so much in the space of one month. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for your lessons. I'm very grateful for the opportunity you gave me to say, okay, Elam, this is what I learned and this is what I'm going to give you. And this is how you're going to use it. And you also allowed me to grow in terms of like finding my own way of presenting, telling me, just make it your own. And I just want to say that I'm really going to miss you. And I'll never forget you. I'll never forget to always remember you. Even if I don't become a presenter, and I know you're going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want me to say that. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. But I should hope that you never forget me. And Ilam, I can say that I will never forget you either. And you know what? I've got something amazing for you. Just to say that you have successfully completed the Curo Create Amp program. And you've been amazing. So well done. Come and allow me to hand this over to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm poor like that. Now yeah. these young and people you are. Things. You are. And I'll be cool like that when I get to school. With my own Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now you know what AMP is, and you probably want to explore all the avenues I did speak about earlier on. All you have to do is wait. After we finish recording our creators and editing their videos, we will post them on our YouTube channel. And if you are a Kiro learner that wants to be considered for a AMP, all you have to do is enter in any Cure Create project that is run throughout the year. And maybe, who knows, you will be the one that I'll be interviewing next year. My name is Elami Tongo Lisa Kanya Mike, And I will see you again. Till then, let us just keep on creating.